Welcome back guys to Pills of Eternity. My name's Double Syringe and we just made it to Cad Nua. This is where we have to go for our main quest to figure out what the hell a watcher is. So before we do that we got some leveling up to do. So our wizard lore. And mechanics and stuff. I have him doing a lot of AOE type. Let's stick some people, shall we? Mm. Uh, um, with deep pockets, I can get more quick items. Shoot, shot on the run. Yeah. He's not really switching weapons. Do melee. Mm -mm. Marksman sounds good. Bloody slaughter sounds good. Let's go with that. Mm. I can get a bonus level one style. Let's, let's do that. Give me another level one spell. How may I help? Or do I go here? Not a big fan of that. And that only really affects one person, right? Oh, it's an AoE blind. Like that. What is this? AoE burn. Oh, all of those are good. I'm just hold on to binding web. Athletics. 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 Mm.
unarmed person. We get another knockdown. Let's go with rapid recovery. Probably triggering all you people that are watching this are like, that's not how you do it. Uh, survival up. Lore up. Enigma's charm. I can charm an enemy. Yeah, let's charm an enemy. Yes? Yeah. You're using a scepter. Mm. You're using staff. Probably to 18, 16, and 22. It's quarter staff's better. All right. Yeah. Just off to the side of the path into Kadnua stands an imposing figure, a tall, thick set Amua, clad in worn armor and peering up at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it works feverishly at taking notes upon the small s scrap of paper. More than once, as he uh, has he has to reach up to prevent his colorful cap from falling off his head. He has as he gazes upward. Uh, what are you doing over here? The man looks over at you, blinking in surprise. His face splits in a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. Killing time, if, I, if I'm honest. I've already walked the perimeter twice. There are names scratched upon some of these bricks, just there, workers and masons, I expect, carving a little immortality for themselves. He looks up at the wall again, expression fond. It's a fine keep, Kadnua, two centuries to its name, and banded for nearly as long. But the truly interesting part is in there. And I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meerwald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. Uh, I came here looking for him too. Oh, truly? Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone. But you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Meerwald. I seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of the Rauatai, but we possess only a fragment of it. Hmm. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest, and I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there. Beneath the keep. Why would it be in Deerwood? Precisely, that's the very question. It is a long and twisting tale, my friend, as all good chance should be. I could tell you more if you w uh, if you wish it in time. Right, let's take him. Excellent. 
Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adir, and in Exomital they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I paid them little mind. Humorless swords and long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. It's a few assassins between friends. <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Dude, I love this guy. Sweet. Oh, what do you do? You're a chanter? What is a chanter? Oh, you're very lore heavy. Hmm? Oh! Yo, what is that, Harry? Um, what do you do? Calls beyond the shroud and summons a phantom to fight for the party. Reduces damage reduction. Increases the slash and shock damage reduction for allies. Creates a thunderous explosion that stuns and shoves enemies in the area of effect. Drains electrostatic energy from the environment to create three bolts of lightning, causing shock damage to any in their paths. Causes a nearby downed enemy to explode, <laughs> expelling three white grubs and crushing nearby enemies. I like that one. I kind of like this one too. I want a phantom. Each memory. <laughs> Oh, I like ancient memory. Cool, next level. Mechanic, survival. I guess I'll give you... Wait, you're a gun guy? <gasps> what is slashing? Produces concentration. Strange portion from all enemies. I like that one. Next level. Mechanics. Um, stealth. Next. Reduces damage reduction. Increases slash and shine reduction. Increases under this explosion. Let's get the grubs. Why not? I love spirits. Improving the chanter's connection to the soul fragments they employ, increasing ancient memory's healing capability. Oh, I can charm at least two people. Let's do that too. He's gonna be in the way back, anyways. Alright, dude. Following your lead. You're gonna be our lockpick guy. You are rocking a gun and a nice sword. You see this for shock? Or strong? You know, just. <laughs> Energy reduction. Uh, get rid of that and put that on. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. You can have that. But I like how he has. Of course, we can improve in our colors. But I look better this way. Nah. Double red. What does this do? Wait. I don't really have good health there, bud. Alright there, bud.
Alright. Dude, right on. What do I do? Meant to do that. What is this? What? Oh, he actually has to, like, sing? Oh, what is this? Right click. Okay. We'll keep that on. Edit chance. Oh. I can chanters spend most of their time in combat XP in chants. Chants are arranged strings of magical phrases that produce different effects. As one phrase ends, its effects will linger, overlapping with the effect of the next phase phrase. When a chant reaches the end of the final phrase, it will loop back to the beginning. Careful Arrangement of phases can produce a powerful sequence of passive effects. Oh. This one is just, uh, gonna be just draining endurance. Click on a chant to select it. If play phrases clicked on the left panel will be added to the selected chant. If you wish to remove a phrase, click on the phrase on the chant. This one does what? It gives fortitude. This one does movement speed. So he'll always sing that. Can I just... Huh. I get I got that. Requires three phase chance. Oh okay, this is Oh. Let's put him in formation like that. Kind of protecting our priest. But, I oh don't know, I kind of want, the fighter has to run up. I don't want him, he's going to be shooting a lot. Let's do that. Right away. Huh? Right. Okay. Let's see how this goes.
Um, weird. Secrets? No. Mm. Oh. Mm. Can I not? Old and dry, with cobwebs in every crack. It reminds me of Woodica. Nice and slow. Sneaky sneak. Ooh. There's a shadow. All right. Let's go. Ooh, phantom. Uh, you, um, I, I need like, let's do that on him. Hi. Lava room beyond These ones are in for a walk. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> nice and quiet. See there. Small flame light. All right. Let's go. Ooh. All right, you just hold, hold the line. How may I help? I got better. Primal flame. Huh. Uh, yoink. Yeah. Nice and quiet. What is this? Do I want to go in here? I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, the wisp. Thank you. Damn. Nice. Spirit residue. Okay. Mm. Into, into Leave our village! We've done nothing to you! Oh, oh okay. We'll, we'll be back to that guy. Let's go! That save. We have lots of saving. Ooh. 
Brave Dalton. Man, now we're just own it. Always helps to have more people in a party. And what does the flame reveal? What does it reveal? Are you just gonna leave me? Yes. Take the shadow. Mm. Run away. Um, the rest of you guys. I want you on him. You on him. You shoot him. And you up with the shadow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That could have gone better. Tangled wires and broken gears litter the wooden box. Huh? Before we go any further, I want to make sure we go everywhere out here before going inside. Old weeds grow in the dusty patch. See if you can take care of that. In my gun, it's just like. Oh my god. You go after him. You attack him. Following your. Let's. No. You attack him. Me. Um. Scare him away. That could have gone better. Of course. Huh? The hedge grows in shaggy heaps shot through the weeds of the tall grasses. Huh? That could have gone. What do you got? System shock. All right. Almost done going around. So we can go through the front door. Let's talk to this guy. You can't do this. Mm, do what? This is our village, 
a home. The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. <coughs> have mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us all because of them. <coughs> he reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that emerges is a series of violent calls. Falls to his knees, choking on the th thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. So we can go through his door, or we can go through the other door. Let's go through yeah. the other door. This one seems like the right door. Let's go in here. Hello. Just we're just welcoming ourselves in. Okay. Ooh. Sneak. I shall be discreet. Sour order and rinse the grain and spoil the fruit permeate the air. Dust and rusted utensils cover the countertop. Rats uh, skitter among the broken stairs. Can't go that way. Before we go in there, see it. Shells creak under the books. Many of the covers are molted with uh, mildew. All right, so it looks like there's no oh. cobwebs behind the remains of a broken abelite. In cracked mortar, various shattered bottles and vials on the table. Wait, so is that everything? Can't go upstairs. It's broken. Oh. All right. Figures there would be, you know, bad guys here. Guess not. <laughs> Through the other door we go. Well, that's, uh, unusual. Yoink. Hmm. Five. Oh, that's a new sword. Oh. I think things are in the one hand, right? It is one hand. Is it better than that? And 19. Let's test it out. Put that there. And put that there. Oh, look at it. I zoom. Oh, I can't zoom in. That's pretty cool. It's on fire. F5. Right. Hello. Hello? Um, how about we do- <laughs> Alright, there's a phantom. Uh, immune to disease, ground, hobble, poison, sickening, and stuck. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Um, I'll have 
and yeah. can you charge Let's go. Him? Hey. Can you charge him? You to um go after him, you go after him, and you start shooting him. How may I help? Oh, It's just always active. Okay. Um. You do this. No. You do your thing. Oh no. Phantom, you um, do that. You don't really do much. You Okay. You're stunned. Do do that. Following your Cool. You attack him. You attack him. You. Following your lead. My guy. Yeah, I should have made him. <laughs> should have made him my barbarian. My tank. I'm doing such a great job with tank. I'm taking. Of course. Hmm. Alright, save. I shall be discreet. Um. <laughs> oh, as you come to the end of the Grey Hall, you perceive you perceive an Im inviting warmth radiating radi radiating from a grand throne out of marble. It's meshful artistry out of out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne's backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. At your approach you feel the warm the warmth fluctuate as though stirring. A voice rings out from the carving, permeating the fortress through the stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. I'm looking for Marwald. As am I. If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... It's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Uh, you said these were your halls? Not as a land is its lords. More as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it, to go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain, and so he did. 
Uh, tell me more about Merwald. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we'd made. In most places it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. Any idea where I can find him? I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins. One of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. What Earl were you speaking of? The Earl of Yenwood, the original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them, the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his sons' sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. Well, uh, what did he find? An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. Oh, great. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. Great. After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused, wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. How I'd long to see it as it once was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. Okay, well, bye. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Oh, damn. All right, so we're going to end this episode here. This one's a little longer than usual. Um, I just wanted to see if we can find Merowold, but I guess we have to go searching for him. But we are in Katanua, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more and want to stay up to date on the series, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you know when my videos go live for you. In the next episode, I guess we're going into a maze question mark we gotta find this guy anyways see you in the next one bye bye